So today, we're gonna go to an onsen! It's the Texan in Tokyo show. Bing! So onsen is an incredibly popular just thing in Japan. It's like a really awesome bathhouse, and since it's a bathhouse, everybody gets naked together. So if you don't want to show your junk in front of people you don't know, you probably shouldn't go. Uh, normally, you are not allowed to take photos or videos or anything whatsoever because, like, it's naked people. Uh, but I called ahead and I got special permission because I'm a blogger. And... All right. So when you see a wooden thing like that, that means you got to take off your shoes. You're not supposed to see you. Take your shoes over and then pick like whatever you want. So I'm gonna go for one of the bigger ones. Uh, okay. And then you keep this key because you're gonna need it later to get your shoes back. Hi. And so they'll take your shoe key, I guess, to make sure you don't run away. So they're programming a little uh, brace at the knee for you to wear. So this is what I'm going to use to get uh, my locker for my onsen. So we're going to go in now. And so girls is always red, boys is blue. Well, that one's up right now. So just be careful so you don't go in the wrong one on accident. Because if you can't read kanji, that can be confusing. So I'm going to go through. Woohoo! Alright, so this is the locker room. Yay! And this little key that they gave me opens up a locker. Oh, it's right here. Okay, cool. So I get to put all my stuff. I'm gonna keep the small towels, but I get to put the big towel in and then my little clothes in. So now the fun part for every onsen goer is you just strip. Onsen, you gotta be naked. Can't wear swimsuit, can't wear anything like that, so just. I'm going to take off some of my clothes. I'm not taking off all my clothes because this is not that kind of video. Uh, so, all right. So I have my little. This is called a modesty towel. When you're walking, you keep it in front of you, covering your junk. And if you're a girl, boobs, guys, like that. Uh, normally, I would be completely naked, but I get to wear a towel because it's a video. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, so let's go do onsen. Um, yeah. This way. Dun dun. So, as you can see over here, this is the wash station. Um, in, I guess, Western culture, we just kind of jump in the bath and do all wash here. But in Japan, it's a no-no. You have to wash everything first, your hair, your body, stuff like that. And then once you're clean, you can go soak in the bath with everyone else. Etiquette for onsen. So what you're going to do is you get your hand and spray off of me. And see these two levers? This lever right here, doo -doo 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 -doo, when you press that, water comes from down there. See? Ooh. And that is usually used to fill up your bucket. If you press this one up here, you're gonna get actual shower water. Cool. And each time you press the button, it'll stay on for a couple seconds. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. And then these are the things. Pretty much every onsen will come with the soaps. Sometimes they'll make you pay 100 yen or 200 yen to use it. Sometimes, like the really rural ones, won't have it at all. But most will have this one is body soap, rinse and shampoo, and conditioner. So when you're washing yourself, make sure you're always sitting down because if you're standing, you might accidentally spray other people with the hose. Alright, so for washing your body, you are going to use your handy little modesty towel that you either need to bring or buy, or they'll let you rent, which they only rent. So, you're going to use some handy rinse. And then you're just scrubbing all the dirt and stuff off your body so you don't get it back in the shower. So some people don't like to use a towel for that, so you can also just put it directly on hands, and then rub everywhere. Even if you think you don't need to wash your hair, you wash the night before, you still have to wash your hair when you go to onsen, because this is a bathhouse, and you don't want to be getting in the onsen with dry hair. Okay, so, get up. Yeah. 
All right, so now that you're all washed and clean, you rinse and then wring out your little modesty towel. So that's good. Uh, and then you need to clean your station. So you're gonna get up and clean this off. Dump this out to clean it off. Just to make sure nobody's sitting on where your butt used to be. And then you just kind of prop it up. Ta da! Like everything else does. If you are a girl or if you have long hair, your hair is not allowed to touch the onsen and the onsen water. And my hair is in that dangerous length where it's like not quite large enough or long enough to pin up, but I still need to find a way to pin it up. So I'll have a tiny, tiny little ponytail and hair pins. And yeah, they're, they're serious. Nobody wants like little, nobody wants little hairs floating in the onsen water. So I got my towel, and let's go do onsen! gonna get wet, especially if it falls in the water. You don't wring it out inside of the bath, you wring it out outside of the bath. This! And then you can go back and put it on your head, or put it right here for now, because I don't feel like putting it on my head. So now I have to pay, turn in my key, and then get my key back. So, So going to onsen can be a little bit daunting and a little bit embarrassing and I guess nobody ever forgets their first time going to onsen. Uh, for me, uh, I was studying for one year in high school in Hokkaido in Sapporo uh, when I was 15 and my whole class went on like a ski trip together 
and at the end they said we were all gonna take a bath and for whatever reason I didn't like we were gonna go to onsen and I didn't think like naked whatever I thought I guess we'd all have separate baths but so we get there and we're in the room and everyone just starts taking off all their clothes and I was just like what is happening this is not okay and so I was like the last person to get naked and my friend was like what's wrong like haven't you ever done onsen before and it was it was not pretty I think I nearly had a panic attack uh, and my next couple times after that were pretty similar I didn't really like it but I was with a group of people and I couldn't really say no because we were doing some sort of like winter ski event and then onsen uh, but I have grown to absolutely love it and adore it and now I go to onsen all the time